Well, good morning internet. Here we are. We have ourselves a start to another day. Well, as always, winter time going to be a little bit of a chilly morning. But hey, could be a lot worse. And yeah, welcome to our vlog. So, here we go. Well, of course, uh, last night was a little bit of a mixed up night for me. I didn't get a lot of sleep. However, I am trying not to sleep today. Uh, with the big, big road trip coming up here tomorrow, I want to uh, try to get um, a semi-normal schedule because, well, uh, you don't want to be super tired uh, when you're driving or anything, right? Uh, with me, it's really, really easy to get back on a night schedule and uh, really, really hard to uh, get back off it. Well, we got ourselves a little bit of a dusting of snow overnight, and just enough to, you know, cover the icy spots on the sidewalks and such, but not enough to really uh, make you want to break out the snow shovel or anything. Well, today I got a couple things I'm wanting to do. Uh, because we're doing the uh, big, big road trip for the uh, item that I'm wanting to purchase, I've got to uh, get everything uh, ready for that, uh, pack the road bag, and get things squared away. People are probably going to think I'm crazy uh, doing what I'm doing, however, it, uh, it uh, makes a lot of sense in the long run, and uh, well, maybe in the following vlog, or even later in this one, you might be able to see a photo or a video of what I've done. Well, got me a call from the dealership uh, today. Apparently, they wondered why uh, for the last month that I haven't been down to pick up my towing mirrors. Uh, they ordered in a set of towing mirrors for me, well, at the end of October, which is uh, within a day or two of a month ago. And they called me here wondering why I haven't been down to get them. And I'm like, well, no one's called me. There's been no phone calls. There's been no voicemail. There's been no nothing. They didn't give me an ETA time saying, oh, they'll be here in 24 hours. Had they have, you know, of course I would have picked them up. But given the recent uh, level of service, customer service, and other things that I've experienced at that dealership, I'm uh, strongly considering not uh, buying my towing mirrors from them. Yes, I probably wouldn't get the price that I was quoted, but I probably wouldn't get that anyway, being um, they've done what they've done. But really, it's only about $200 difference uh, buying them now or buying them in six, eight months. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I need towing mirrors for, uh, for the little cargo trailer here. Like, it's not like it's a large RV. Um, it's not like it's eight feet wide or anything. It's only seven feet, so it's uh, it's not super wide and the truck itself is wider than the canyon and and uh, Well, hey um, Save a little bit of money right now coming through the holiday season um, There are a couple of trips to the city that uh, I need funds for so if it means not buying the mirrors until next fall well, then it is what it is, right? Well, pretty much guys, gonna make me a coffee, get on with the old day. Got a couple things I'm wanting to do. Uh, like I said, get a couple things squared away for the uh, road trip, and then all will be well. So yeah, you guessed her. We will catch you all later. Hello, internets, here we are. A little bit of an afternoon update. Well, just finished doing a project here, something I've been wanting to do for a while. come to the conclusion that the 2016 GMC Canyon topper uh, is not going to sell uh, through the classifieds and uh, it's too good of a topper to throw away you know I've put too much money into it and uh, well nobody seems to want it and I just happen to want 
a new topper for my 2017 GMC Sierra Denali. So I put two and two together and well hey, um, if I do say so myself, it looks pretty good. I always thought a topper off a canyon uh, wouldn't look good on a, a Sierra, but actually this one looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a gap at the bottom where I adapted it to fit the uh, full-size truck. However, you know, it leaves a bit of a room for a step or, um, you know, a contractor's rack to be built on top. Um, place for you to stand while you're strapping things down and, uh, well, all that good stuff. It uh, looks pretty good to me and, uh, well, you know, I guess that's all that matters, right? Well, I was going to bolter through and through, through the 2 by 4s through the box of the truck. Um, you know, get her nice and sturdy and uh, on there. However, I decided to go a little bit of a different way with clamps this time. And uh, 2 by 4s Some people say it's uh, going to inhibit what I can haul in the box of the truck. However, I don't haul nothing in my fancy truck anyway, so a couple of 2 by 4s uh, riding around in there is really not that bad, you know, anyway, right? So, like I said, a little bit of figuring, and uh, you might as well use what you got at hand instead of going out there and buying another one, um, just, you know, just to have this one sit there, right? Like I've said in past vlogs, previous vlogs, and uh, all that, uh, truck accessories are weird. You know, when you want one or want something, they're expensive. But when you go to sell it, you basically can't give it away. Nobody wants it. Everybody wants a tonneau cover or a box cover or, you know, one of those trifold things that get in the way the moment you try to haul anything larger than a uh, golf club. <laughs> well, with these toppers like this, you know, you can put a skidoo back there, uh, a quad back there, you know, sleep back there. You know, put your moose that you just uh, ran over with the truck back there. You know, whatever you want to do, right? Like I said, a little bit of redneck ingenuity, some duct tape, some figurines, and, uh, well, it's good to go. So that one project is done. I'm trying to decide what else I can uh, uh, do for the day. I know I got some snow I can move. However, uh, me and the snow are kind of on a permanent battle. Um, I figure it's going to melt eventually and uh, it wants to be shoveled so I'm not sure who is going to win the battle but uh, I'm pretty stubborn uh, when it comes to things so we'll have to see how she goes. So yeah you guessed her, going to go inside and around we roll. Well hello internets, here we are. We come to the end of another day. Well it was a good day, a steady day was able to get a couple of things on my list done that, uh, well, needed to be done. Getting prepared uh, for the big, big road trip. The uh, first road trip with the 2017 GMC Sierra. As always, the dash cam will be running. Um, probably get some kind of footage out of it. All depends on how I choose to edit it up. I know editing up uh, 10, 11 hours of road footage is going to be a chore. So I might have to edit some of it out and shorten things down, maybe make it into two or three parts. But, uh, well, it'll be done and it'll all be fine. So we'll have to see how tomorrow goes. I might start the vlog and see how the day proceeds from there. If it's too crazy busy of a day, then it'll just have to be what it is. If it's a good day and everything goes the way it's supposed to go, I get time to vlog and such, then there'll be some um, vlog for tomorrow. If not, then well, it is what it is. But pretty much guys got me a topper for the 2017 GMC Sierra. Decided to uh, use the one that I had for the Canyon, build an adapter for it to fit, and uh, hey, um, you know, it'll be fine and is what it is. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's Vlogs. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.